Yes. Vegan hamburger helper. Vegan hamburger helper. Orale. I love hamburger helper. He's my favorite, man. It's so easy. Man, dude, look at this. Oh my gosh. It's killing. <laughs> I have multiple personalities. I'm, I'm almost convinced. Hey guys, it's me, Pineapple Vegan, and I'm back with another video. Today I am actually making one of my most requested recipes, which is so weird because I wasn't expecting people to actually want it this bad, but it's homemade vegan hamburger helper. It's still like the cheeseburger, hamburger helper style. You know what I'm talking about. I'm trying to avoid using as much salt. I don't really use a lot of salt, but I don't want to add any. So let's go ahead and get started. I want to tell you guys what you'll need. First, I'm going to be using a little bit of grapeseed canola blend. You don't have to use this. You can use whatever oil of your choice. And then I have my Mrs. Dash original blend. It is salt free. One teaspoon. Two tablespoons of garlic powder. Two tablespoons of onion powder, a half of a teaspoon of smoked paprika, one tablespoon of parsley, and then one teaspoon of oregano. And then I have some nooch here. I don't know how much I'm gonna add. I kinda like to do that closer to the end, so that's why it's not in the measuring cup. And then I have some Daya pepper jack shreds. You don't have to use this if you don't want. This is like at the end, you know, for the garnish. Make your food look good and taste better. <laughs> For the hamburger helper, I'm actually using the Daya Cheddar Style Deluxe Cheesy Mac. Okay. I'm using two boxes because I'm a mom of four. And they be eating. They be killing it. Like, for real, for real. And then I'm also going to be using canned fire roasted tomatoes. You don't have to use this. If you do not want to, you can use regular diced tomatoes. You can dice them up yourself. Or you can use tomato sauce. It's up to you. For our meat, I'm going to be using my favorite garden crumbles. You don't have to use this. You can use CVP. You can use mushrooms. You can use lentils. Whatever you want. So you, boo-boo. So you. Black pepper. I didn't measure that out either because I'm probably going to end up sprinkling it. And then right here, I have two cups of veggie broth. And then I have two cups of non-dairy milk. And I'm going to use approximately two to three tablespoons of this. You can use fresh onions if you want. I honestly just don't really want to cut them up right now. So before we actually get started, I do want to tell you guys that if you haven't already subscribed to this channel that you watch it right now, do it. You can do it! And while you're at it, go ahead and click that notification button so that you can be notified when I upload videos. So we're going to drizzle our pan with a little bit of the oil, probably about three tablespoons, maybe even less. And we're gonna get our crumbles and just go ahead and put them in there. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and put that in and move it around. My mama just walked in here and grabbed a bottle of liquor and then left the room. Now y'all see what my future looks like. <laughs> Okay, so I'm gonna get some of that vegetable broth and I'm gonna put one, two, three, four, five, six, seven tablespoons. And then we're gonna go ahead and add in all of our seasonings, literally all of them. Don't hold back, do what you feel. Yeah, this one too. Oh, it already smells good. Those seasonings smell so good. Now I'm gonna add more of the stock. I could pour it all in, but I don't wanna pour it all in just yet. So you're gonna have just a little bit left, which is fine. Mix it up again. And then we're gonna go ahead and add in our minced onions. Remember, I said two to three tablespoons. I'm going to do three. I love onions, minced onions, cooked onions, raw onions, red onions, yellow onions. I love them all. And then we're going to get our black pepper. And just put in a few shakes. 
and just keep cooking it through. Okay, so now the other liquid is starting to cook out, so we're just gonna pour the rest of the broccoli in. Now you can pour all of yours in at one time if you want. You don't have to gradually add it in. I just, I just like to do it that way. And now time for our tomatoes. I'm adding it liquid and all. I was gonna use two cans, but I think one would suffice. While I open this, do y'all ever practice arguments? Like while you're by yourself, like in the shower or in the mirror? No? I know I'm not the only one. One of my followers on Instagram, sometimes y'all be saying some reckless stuff to me. And I'd be like, if I was to say this to them, they would be hella mad at me. But basically, I was like practicing my response. Obviously, I didn't respond this way to this person. But I was still practicing my response like, who, hold on. I was, who do you think you talking to? Cause I know it ain't me. No, no, no. <clears throat> what? Who you talking to? You have to do this because they won't know that you real. Because I don't know who. Okay, it smells amazing. I kind of let it cook a little bit, almost like a simmer, until it started kind of boiling. My mouth is watering because it smells so good. So now we're going to get our noodles. it open. One bag. Second bag. Mm -hmm. You just kind of mix that all in there. And now we're going to add in all of our milk. That's two cups. Remember? Oh, they're adorable. Every time I get on camera, you, know, you want to show out from all these people. And I actually think I want to add an extra cup of milk. I want it to be super creamy. I'm not measuring it. I'm just going to do what I think is a cup. So overall, it's three cups of milk. This is how I cook. I, I tweak things as I go. And y'all just get the final result. All right. And now we're going to go ahead and add our nooch. So nutritional yeast gives it that nutty slash cheesy taste. So, one big heap, let's do two big heaps. Two big heaps of nutritional yeast. Or like I like to call it nooch. And then you're gonna mix it up one more time, really good. All we're gonna do now is cover it and let it come to like a boil. And I'm gonna let it boil for about five to six minutes. And then I'm gonna uncover it, add my cheese, and then let it simmer throughout. Okay. When you try to act good in front of your friends and you sing rap songs that you really don't even like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh. Put me at work. Yeah. Put me at work. Yeah. And then when your friends leave and then you start singing the real music that you like. Yeah, he come up to some clothes. Just bought my ticket for the long way round. Two hours get far away. And I sure would like some sweet call for me. But I'm leaving tomorrow, what it say? When I'm gone. When I'm gone. Oh, I didn't even see you come back. <laughs> Let's go ahead and check on it. Oh, it smells so good. So now we're going to add in our cheese. Y'all, I have not had any rest, okay? So please excuse my randomness. This is how I get when I'm tired. I work my husband's nerves. He'll just look at me and he'll go, you're tired, aren't you? And then I'm fake offended. Oh, what? So you don't love me? <laughs> He's so sick of me. He loves me. <laughs> okay, let me get all this cheese in here. Okay, and then just mix it all in. So now we're gonna cover it again and cook it for another five to six minutes. This time I'm gonna lower the heat to like a low simmer and leave it for another five to six minutes. And I just wanna make sure that all the flavors combine and it just gets so nice. Let 
Let's check back on this. Ooh, bubbling up real good. It's pretty much done, but I just want it to be a little more done. It hasn't even been six minutes yet, so I'm just checking on it and stirring it to make sure that it doesn't stick. I'm gonna go ahead and add my top coat of cheese. Not a whole bunch. Who am I kidding? <laughs> I'm a little heavy handed. So I just sprinkled it over the top like so. So I probably used about half of this bag. It was a brand new bag. And then we're gonna cover it up for like another two to three minutes, okay? This is amazing. Like I knew it would be. All right, you guys. There you have it, Vegan Hamburger Helper. You asked and I delivered. Thank you so much, as always, for watching this video. And if you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe to my channel and click the notification button so that you'll be notified whenever I upload videos. And yeah, try this recipe out. Like if you try it, please tag me. I want to see it. I always say that. And a lot of y'all do. And I appreciate you so much. And my besties, messy. <laughs> Thank you so much again. And until next time, keep eating vegan food. And don't eat animals, please. Vegan animals. Fine. Don't eat animals. Bye, you guys.